Okay, so you guys are both villains then. Yes. <laughs> What's the benefit of being a hero? That's so true. Like I, I... Cheaty from The Good Place. Yes. Bill Jackson. Elon what? Musk. Elon yes. Musk. Charlie Billy Eilish. Billy what the F. Light skin beef. Tony Stark. Document Man. The, the future is kind of hot. Daria. Bojack Horseman. Jimmy Neutron. Batman. Dora. You have a crush on Wally. <laughs> Peter Pan. Oh. Mary Poppins would be like the future. I feel no. like. Welcome to Married to the Idea. This is the podcast for the homicidally, ethically, and romantically correct. I am Tiara Ture. This is... Kalel. And this is... Milani. I need you to be more confident. Milani! <laughs> <laughs> Basically, this is going to be a very glorified version of Kiss, Mary Kill, where instead of, you know, like, celebrities, it's basically... Um, the manifestations of various concepts that lie deep within our soul and are subject to various philosophical debates and it's just the dumbest version of that honestly it's so complicated <laughs> today's episode is past versus present versus future so kiss mary kill past present and future so when i gave you this prompt guys yes what were you thinking so what i was thinking when you gave this prompt i was honestly thinking the past would be either very nostalgic like always bringing you like things from your past for as like a bring me up mm -hmm. Or they're just going to be lecturing you about what someone else did wrong that you shouldn't do. Yeah. Present, I felt neutral at the beginning about. Mm -hmm. In the future, they're either going to be very paranoid or very spontaneous, you know? Yeah. And then what about you? Me? Honestly, I didn't think about it until I got oh, on the bus. <laughs> I immediately did not think but then when i was on the bus i was thinking and um i feel like the past is uh either good or bad depending on your lifestyle um present is the present and i don't believe in the future but we'll we'll leave that what do you mean you don't <laughs> believe in the future i don't believe in the future all right i guess we'll get to that <laughs> that is someone who does not <laughs> We were just talking about nihilism. Yeah, that's that's about... Yeah, basically. Yeah. I don't believe in the... Like, we'll get into that. You know what? Let's scrap the whole beginning of what I, I thought. <laughs> no, we're keeping that. Because I, I prepared two different, like... No, no, it's things. okay. It's okay. Yeah, I'm Rem scrapping that whole thing because... I put you know, folks, question mark. None of this is scripted. So <laughs> you're going to hear what you're going to hear. Yeah. No, when I was planning... At the... some point, it's going to get canceled. I'm I don't know when. <laughs> I really am. My ideas Your are first just bleep problematic. Right there. <laughs> Your first bleep But when already. I was planning, look, I put hope with with a huh emoji because I didn't know. <laughs> I don't really believe I in hope. Stop the war. <laughs> All right, host. All right, so um, when I thought about like what the past and the present and the future mean the past i think just like a lot about regret mm -hmm. <laughs> so like it's kind of painful mm -hmm. in that way so i i didn't spoilers i don't favor the past uh the present i'm just thinking about now it's very something that i can like control it's something that i feel like it's very comforting because it's always there mm. And then the future is just anything. So it's very much a wild card. So that's what I was thinking. Someone who's more of a wild card when I personify it. Yeah. So my answer was kiss the future, mm. marry the present, and kill the past. <laughs> See, okay, that's what I started out with. Okay. And then I really thought about it. So mine was kiss the past, 
marry the present and kill the future. Because, yeah, I don't believe in the future. But continue. Your turn. See, for me, I would marry the present, kiss okay. the future, kill the past. Yeah, let's go. Listen. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the past, yeah? Mm. But listen, between my two options here, the future can be Anything. like a fun time. Mm -hmm. The past might be like a little bit more of a stickler. 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 Stickler? Stickler. There you go. <laughs> Stay in school. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay, that's kind of where I was like, I feel like the the past is gonna gonna haunt you, so yeah. might as well stabby stabby. See, for me, it was like the past could be so nostalgic. See, I get that, but also it could be like you know how like your mother brings up mm. like past events yeah. from your childhood that <laughs> oh. you would want to yeah, just keep leave that huh? a secret. That could be the past. Like, there's someone who went to your childhood home once. Mm -hmm. I was like, hey, do you remember this memory? <laughs> Just slam it in your face. Yeah, See, exactly. I like the past. Well, I like pieces of the past. Because you could see the same for the present. You could always focus on the bad things. Right. Ugh, this sounds so optimistic, but anyways, <laughs> yeah, you can focus on the bad things. Disgusting. <laughs> and you know your whole present sucks, but you know if you focus on the good things, I refuse to be. Anyways, so <laughs> she's vomiting in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> if you focus on all the the mistakes and regrets and whatever that you had in the past, of course you're not gonna like your past. I focus on. The romanticized things from the past that we right. probably weren't even born in. For example, flip phones. We we didn't have those growing well ish, growing up, right? And mm -hmm. now people started remaking them, and people started buying them because nostalgia. Yeah. So I like the idea. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, if I were to think of the past as a color, it would be purple, red, and yellow. I don't know why, but that's how it is. Purple, red, and yellow. I think, like, sunset colors? No, more like, They're kinda... you know when, like, this TV's all scrambly and yeah. it, like, looks weird? It's those colors. You mean when it's off air? Not off air. It's but more like... like... No, in the, the like, like, the color bars. Yeah, the channel goes. Not We'll really. be back in a minute. <laughs> It's more like when your TV doesn't work or it has, like, the smallest bar of service and it's all scrambled. Oh, like static. Kind of, yeah. Okay, so, like, noise, I guess. Mm. Okay. All right. Why is that Why is that the past? I don't know. I just like I, the past. I thought you were imagining some, like, 50-year-old dude with <laughs> some purple... <laughs> I picture like purple what sunglasses. What we had as kids, like those like weird infomercials, you know what, though? where everything was just weird. If they could remind me of my childhood TV shows and movies that I liked, hmm. and were able to find a copy of them. That would be fantastic. Like DVDs. Yo, binge night. Great. So yeah. like nostalgia. Yeah. Is more like what you're thinking. I'm thinking of like trauma. See, everyone has trauma in every moment. I'm traumatized. Currently. <laughs> All the time. The in trauma is happening moment. right now. <laughs> right in this moment, right now, I am traumatized. So, I mean, when you have depression, it's less just everything sucks. So, past sucks as bad as the present as the future. So. Okay. So, when... You were thinking of like past. You were just thinking of elderly person. <laughs> no, no. When I I thought that's what she was thinking, right? Okay, what were you thinking? Well, I thought of the past. I was thinking of like a flashy, like over the top colors, mm -hmm. like entertainer type person. Yeah. Like someone who they kind of bring like nostalgia. Mm -hmm. Where they walk, mm. like, um, 
you know Michael Jackson's iconic outfits, right? Yeah. They, I'd say like they would be wearing something like that, oh. just all, all the time. Interesting. Why? Just like. Like of the ages, like maybe, like a. Bright, like historical, I like, guess. Maybe like a bright color jacket, and they'd like have little patches of just history, all around it. <laughs> Interesting. So. You're imagining a punk tra- time traveler? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that sound sick, though? It really it does. It does sound sick. Uh, no. I don't know what what season of Doctor Who we're on, but I think that's, like, See, I'm thinking, like, idea. a micro, m- Michael Jackson version of that. So it's, like, instead of going into that telephone thing, it's just, like, moonwalk backwards. Yeah. <laughs> you end up in the <laughs> Each step that he moves walks is one yeah. year. And then, like, when he leans forward, he goes into the future. <laughs> you know? Listen. Listen. Oh, are we going to talk about the people? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. People? Because if we are get Just for the people at home to know, our host here gave us um, instructions to also pick people that would... Yes. Represent. 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 So, did you want to bring up yours? Well, we already kind of did. For the so, past, I okay, picked yeah. Michael Jackson. Just for... That's true nostalgia right there. Mm. Michael Jackson. For the future, I picked... No, hear me out. The man, the myth, the legend. Why am I blanking on his name now? <laughs> I was thinking Bobby Flay. <laughs> Why did you think of Bobby? <laughs> TV chef Bobby Flay. Yes. I don't know why. He wants to go to Mars. Bobby Flay. He Bo- wants Mars. Yeah. Rockets are his his baby. Armstrong. Oh, Tesla guy. Yeah, Tesla. Oh, <laughs> Elon Musk. <laughs> Elon Musk. <laughs> Like, I was blanking on his name so bad. Oh, wait, no, that's that kind of vibes with mine, because I was, like, thinking, like, fictional characters, so I had Tony Stark. Ooh. Oh, as, like, fictional characters are a whole other field. <laughs> and what was it? Present was... Present was the one I struggled with, mm-hmm. but I went, I think... If I had to go with anybody, just with one person to represent present, I think I would go. Who is a good representation of our generation? I heard it. Charlie Billy DeMilio. Eilish. Billy what the Eilish. Hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Charlie D'Amelio. I don't know anything about Charlie D'Amelio. No one does. She's just a girl. <laughs> <laughs> what? If we're going with someone who grew, we watched grow up in, from our childhood to the present. Zendora. What? <laughs> Where is your mind? <laughs> it's true. It can be anybody. Yes. Yeah. This is not my top choice, but. Someone who pops into my head? Mm-hmm. Mr. Bieber. Justin Bieber. We watched that man grow from That's a child. True. Go to prison. Go to prison. Yeah. We saw, I feel like Justin Bieber. I mean, we watched yeah, him we do, did watch we, him grow up. We watched him do a whole timeline. Mm-hmm. Literally, if you take a picture of of every step of his career. and in, Not including the dreads, because... <laughs> No. No, including the dress. No. If you <laughs> remove light skinned Bieber from the canon of Justin Bieber, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, okay. Your turn or my turn? Uh um yeah, I was saying that um I was thinking of Tony Stark mm-hmm. as future because I mean, obviously you have like all the technology stuff, but his mind is always just next. Whatever's next, yeah. yeah. And I think that's one of the flaws of the future. That's why I only would kiss the future rather than marrying it. Yeah. Because the future is kind of non-committal. That's true. 
the future does not really it's not, it's not loyal <laughs> yeah it's not wow. loyal to you um you'll probably like mess things up with you will do something wrong but that's like <laughs> it's essentially like being with tony stark but he's dead so <laughs> <laughs> So you future? win. You win. Is there a future? <laughs> no. Nah, you want to know someone who really represents the future? Who's a comic book character? Doctor Manhattan. Mm. That guy's always, literally, so far ahead of everyone else that he literally made a bunch of clones of himself to deal with his wife while he was still thinking about the future. I don't oh, even Lord. know who that is, but now I want to see that. A big boom. Is it is it in is it like in a movie or is it in comics? It's a comic and a movie. Oh okay. If you search him up, he's a big blue man. <laughs> he literally got so done with our planet, he moved to Mars and just sat there. Nice. It's... He became all knowing. Yeah, exactly. The future is non-committal. Um, don't marry the future. Yeah. Listen. The, the future might get you multiple versions of him. <laughs> the future might actually um, do anything to not be with you there right now, but it's gonna like figure things out. It's like, it's like a uh, kind of like, is it a deadbeat dad, or just like one of those dads that give you that give you gifts, It'd but they're not gifts. there. My dad. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what's your dad? What do they call your dad? Huh? What do they call your dad? I don't even know. <laughs> He's done a whatever for people to, <laughs> to name him. <laughs> whatever her dad is, that that's yeah, what that, I'm talking that. about. Problematic is what that is. Oh, okay. Problematic mm-hmm. dad, yeah. So future for me was hard because I don't believe in the future. So I what what did I put? I put the same character for past and present because I don't believe in the future. So basically, my idea of the future is that no one can be in the future. Nobody. Unless someone from the past who was dead, who reanimated itself, sees like people now. That's the future. But it's not the future, it's the present. Okay, so someone now mm-hmm. who wakes up in the future. There is no... It, future's not a thing. Okay, sorry. Because once you're in the Who wakes moment, up later. <laughs> <laughs> once you're in the next moment, it's no longer the future. It's the present. See, for someone waking up in the... Well, I'll put your, your quotes, future. <laughs> future. To everyone else, that's their present. To your, It's just your perception that it's the future because you came from so far back mm. that that's your future. I suppose and so. And if you return to your present day, then you already know what's going to become but see, that, afterwards. That doesn't make sense to me. Because think about it. You could say I am in, my, in the future right now because I was asleep yesterday. Mm-hmm. So... To that past yeah. you. So we're in the future. We are in the future, but, but then, we're in the present. Does that mean that the present doesn't exist? No. If we're constantly in the future? No, every, you're constantly in the present. Every but, second that ticks by is technically becoming the past. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So right now, we're in the present. Right when that minute switches, we're in the exactly. present so still. So there's rarely but they're in a the future. Past. Really, exactly. the future is like a concept. It's not really. I don't believe in the concept. I guess what Nalani is saying is that each the next minute doesn't exist essentially because we're already in it. Yeah. <laughs> but sure. I mean, it's the next minute, so you're I mean, not. The in concept it. of the future is just like saying, "What is the next present?" Yeah. I don't believe in it. So you don't believe in a present that's not this one? I believe that there's moments that bring us to the next present, but it's not the future. Because then people romanticize the future and it's like, we're going to have flying cars. Did There is a whole video on YouTube, okay, saying what everyone's going to be wearing in the year 2023. And... 
That when was, was from like from? nineteen something, like a long time ago. And they had tin foil on their heads. Do you see tin foil on anyone's heads? It's a concept that people just make up in their head so that they have faith, which I don't believe in, but that's fine. So you want a hug? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So for my character, I picked um, Daria, the most cynical person that I'm in love with. She. This is so on brand. <laughs> <laughs> she just lives life in the moment, and she doesn't really care about anything, ever. So. I'm the only one that was thinking real people. <laughs> I did say fictional. That's true. <laughs> I did. I really copied her message, it and it's a says, fictional character. <laughs> no, I can already think though of fictional characters. Um, for present, I also picked Daria because future doesn't really exist because every day is a present. But whatever. And then the past, I picked Dora specifically for the fact that. You know, everyone loves the nostalgia of Dora. Like, she was Mech- the first Latina girl cartoon that we know of. Mm-hmm. That's been, oh, Diego. you know, brought to everywhere Obviously, in the world. Obviously, Dora came before she Diego. She came before Diego because he's her cousin. <laughs> but basically, she was brought around the world, so, like, everyone kind of has that nostalgia of Dora, right? Mm-hmm. But then they messed her up. <laughs> they screwed her up. And now the present version, instead of a backpack, she has a charm bracelet. Instead of the map, she has a GPS. <laughs> That's actually so funny. <laughs> Listen, they and have... instead of boots, she has actual real friends. I'm pretty sure she had some sort of mental disorder because she went into the woods, talked to animals all day, went back home, no one questioned her. <laughs> but now she she has Obviously a it runs in the family. I But the Jaguar never talked. I swear on my life he never talked. From Maybe. Diego. Shit. She, <laughs> she talked to so many animals. And there were weird colors. Like what cow is is blue? Like no cow is blue. What is that grumpy old troll? Is she trespassing on someone's land? <laughs> <laughs> she, and then who's swiper some thief they don't let kids do anything <laughs> these days they can't even go out and talk to foxes anymore <laughs> exactly so now she has real people friends and i'm just like why no one wants your blonde haired friend in here wears boots so yeah dora wow that was a long door place <laughs> <laughs> door so for me, I put, okay, what did I, what the hell did I say? Okay, so for past, I put BoJack Horseman. Yes. <laughs> Immediately, yes. I should have put that. Have That's you ever so watched smart. BoJack Horseman? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's my favorite. So show. yeah, it's because just, he is basically an, an example of what happens when you make your past all you are. Because he's just literally coasting off of his success from the 90s into 30 years later. And he's way past it, living in the same house, hasn't made any new friends. And just like, he's just there. He's stunted. That's the whole point of him. So I guess that's like, I guess that's the more negative side of it. And then when I was thinking like positive side and like the more nostalgic thing, I was thinking of Wally. Wait, like the robot? Yes, Wally the robot. Oh my god. Wally. That's my man. That's pretty good. <laughs> I love Wally. My trash guy, you know? It's just like a little garbage thing. You have a crush on Wally? <laughs> No, I have a crush on Eve. Okay. Eva is her name. No, Eve is her name. He, she yeah. just said Eva. Yeah, Eva. Great. Mm-hmm. So what did you think of, of Wally as a choice? Pretty good, but I mean, you made a, the garbage collector. 
or example of, 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 of the, the past. Of the past. I mean, yeah, because like the idea of him is just that he longs for whatever connections were there before the pollution of the world mm. and in a kind of conservative way he wants to just go back to that and then in that way you can kind of argue that eve is the future mm-hmm. um and then them together is the present mm-hmm. maybe but i feel like eve is more like nostalgia though because she didn't even think about it until he showed up yeah and she wanted to go back to the past too Man. She did eventually want to go back to the past. So there's like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So there's kind of like a balance mm. that they both reach. Because whatever they do, they have to enter a, a, a future, which is that they brought everyone back to Earth and they have to craft a community and everything. Mm. So eventually they have to make a future, but they are relying on resources from the past to do that. Yeah. So that's why I'm thinking them together kind of makes the present but my also my idea for the present was cheaty from the good place yes cheaty i respect that (laughs) i respect that for the past no for the present oh cheaty especially like nearing towards like the end of this of the show where Mm -hmm. he's just like picture a wave you know and just like talking about death and like an eastern Mm -hmm. take on it so I think that that's like a good representation because he is, at least in, his, in when he enters his final form, <laughs> he is all of the things that he was in the past in every reality and every thing. And then that makes who he is now. And he lives in the now until he does it. See, I like the timeline in that show. Jeremy Barry, Jeremy Barry with the dots. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that that concept gets me. You know, <laughs> it's just Jeremy Barry. Like there's nothing like constructed. It is what it is, and sometimes there's a dot. The dot is when nothing never happens on Tuesday. <laughs> Like, Tuesday or July, which I took offense to, because I'm born in July. (laughs) But that's... That makes sense to me. It's just what it is. And the time is what it is. I don't understand why you have to, you know, track it. It's... That is why I've been sitting here. I've thought of... Rethought of all fictional characters. Okay. (laughs) Let's hear it. So... For the past, I would go with Bugs Bunny. Yes. Okay. You know, that man is literally a lot of people's childhood Mm -hmm. from all generations across. Mm -hmm. For the future, Jimmy Neutron. Boy genius. Mm -hmm. Always inventing, always coming up with something new. You know, if he was real, he'd be, you know, the first ever 100 billionaire. Probably with all his inventions. Giant forehead too. Just couldn't couldn't make it to the trillion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, you know why? Because someone would probably try to stunt him. It's true. It would be me. People would be trying to, you know, steal his inventions for mm-hmm. themselves. And then for the present, I went with Peter Pan. Oh yeah. Okay. Peter Pan. Never Neverland kind of. Neverland, because, sure. An argument can be made that he likes staying in the past Mm -hmm. as a child, but even then, it's not like he's staying a child to remember and stay in his childhood. Mm -hmm. He likes just being in the present at all times, never thinking ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, Peter Pan for present. Have you watched the new Peter Pan? No. There's a new one? Yes. No. Just Peter Pan and Wendy. Oh, what about her brothers? I don't actually know where they are, but I know that they made the Lost Boys, Lost Boys and Girls, which kind of ruins the point of them being Lost Boys, but I haven't paid attention to a Disney live action remake in the last five years, so Um. I'm, I'm living good. Anyway, but yeah, Peter Pan as like something from the present. I can see that. Because you're, like, always 
I think I see it as like a form of like freedom, like choice. Yeah. When when if you're living the same age because you don't have to deal with the future, mm. but you're always in the same age. Okay, I get it. Except I want to be early twenties if I was forever stuck at an age. I don't know. If he had a choice and he decided to be like a preteen for eternity, it's a little weird, but mm. it's it's especially weird when I think there was this there is also a direct to DVD sequel of Peter Pan. And I was just watching a video on this from Big Joel yesterday where he was talking about that like in the sequel for it, uh, Wendy grows up because she doesn't choose to go to Neverland, right? Mm. And he, Peter Pan meets her again to talk to, to be with her daughter. And then when they talk, it's kind of like, he doesn't really like regret his decision, but like, it's clear that Wendy is okay with the choice that they made, that she made. So it's very content either way if you choose to go into the future or you choose to live in a very present present. We all agreed to marry the present, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That was everyone's take. Because yes. it's solid. Okay. So I think... I think I had an argument for why you shouldn't marry the present and just just in case, just to play devil's advocate, mm -hmm. like an asshole. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any unwanted commentary, <laughs> you're an asshole. <laughs> no, my other ex fictional example for the present, which was like more of a negative take, mm -hmm. was Mr. Peanut Butter from BoJack Horseman. <laughs> Mr. Peanut, but he's so optimist. He's so optimistic. <laughs> like, but he, you know what? I agree with you, because he was just so focused on the present that he didn't even realize that the past, like, you know how people say like the past is important for the future, even though I don't. Know. Let's just forget that. But yeah, the past is important <laughs> for the future. Or the past is based on the future. Whatever, right? But he never really understood that the past led up to the moment that he was in. So the constant issues that he had, he couldn't see the constant, like, marrying oh, yeah, the that's same exactly type I mean. person, the same time, ha going to like, the it's same Like, completely party. ignoring the past. Yeah, completely. Where you just don't even recognize your own patterns. Yeah, and people keep saying, like, if you keep doing the same thing so many times, that's insanity. Yeah, exactly. Without this, a different outcome. And he never really yeah. understood that because he was constantly in his optimis optimism and he was just... Trying to bring down all optimists, huh? Yeah, he was just trying to. Yes, optimism <laughs> is a bad thing because it, it's like it blinds him. His whole optimism blinds him at the fact that what he's doing has an issue that he constantly continues to do. It, we can get into like a different Pessimism episode. Pessimism can also blind you. Yes. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, you I know, feel I, can, like... I can give you a kid who's semi realism, mm. semi pessimistic. Batman. See, but that, is Batman I past, like... present, or future? I believe Batman would be future. Mm -hmm. He'd be borderline present and future with how much planning he does mm. for certain outcomes. Like just give him prep time. He can be there. <laughs> for, for, like, for example, being so paranoid about the rest of his mm -hmm. members of the Justice League that he makes plans on how to kill each, each, each of them yeah. in different ways mm -hmm. at all and has them ready for, at all times just in case one of them goes wrong. See, I feel like... Yeah, it's bad. Like I feel like yeah, you it's good to be have blinded. a plan. It's good to have a plan. Yeah, 
But how many plans this guy has for his own team. But I feel like mm. that's good. Like, you can just be... Because Superman turned on them at, at one point, And he needed to figure out how to fix that, right? But at the same time, he's the reason Superman usually gets hurt somehow. True. Mm. And sometimes, like, Batman v Superman... The only reason that kind of situation happened is because Batman's like, you shouldn't have these powers. He shouldn't, though. I mean, like... He was naturally born with them. Was he? From coming to Earth. <laughs> what you, hold on, what's the conspiracy that you <laughs> Think about it. Was he... Okay. You have to really think about it. From, was, like, uh, a normal child, okay? Think about, like, the cognitive, uh-huh. like, physical abilities of a baby. Yeah. They don't have it until they're taught and they figure it out, right? So, was Superman taught all these things? No. So then how could he do it? That doesn't because make sense. Because he's from a different planet. But then how does has... he know that he can fly if he was brought down from a baby? You know, originally Superman didn't even know, couldn't even fly. Exactly. Just Before he just really jumped hard. really hard. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, Superman's whole thing is he came from a different planet. He didn't even know that until mm-hmm. his power started showing. Mm-hmm. Who's gonna teach him? No one. He had. But the, didn't he, he not have those him. like videos from his dad in like some ice palace or something? <laughs> In some, exactly. In some, exactly. But I don't even think he. Most of the time, he gets that. He, I think he. I'm pretty sure he's the one that made the palace. All right, hold on, hold on. I don't know any. I have not consumed any DC content <laughs> in, in years. I grew up on that you, stuff. Oh, hold on. Hold can on. you explain to me the tutorial videos that that <laughs> Superman's father made? Okay. So, the origins of S- Superman. Superman, little baby, mm-hmm. his parents, their planet, going boom boom. Yes. Yeah, okay, got that. So, they slingshotted him. Kapow. He did. <laughs> Crashes on Earth. Mm. And this weird farmer couple decide to keep Superman. Which is strange. And raise him and as their own. use him. They didn't use it. <laughs> his uh, his father died just so he didn't use his powers. I, I would say they're the farthest thing from using him <laughs> for their own benefit. I suppose, but like he worked on a farm as a farm hand. You know, he was plowing whatnot. They used his strength. I refuse to see that they didn't use him. Regular kids that are born into farmer families do farm work also. They use them. I swear, child labor. I mean, lies. it is. <laughs> it is definitely taking advantage. You can't deny that. You know, okay. Yes, there's no I'm, doubt that. that <laughs> yes, was, but that's <laughs> something that can be applied to any child. The Kent family. They did, they did not the use Kent family him. had the best farm in the <laughs> county. <laughs> Listen, they didn't use him though. For just his powers, they actually raised him mm. with some morals. Yeah, they had motive to do that. Honestly, though, <laughs> I feel like every parent uses their child at some point. Yeah, it's true. Like for kidneys. Not Batman. Oh, okay. okay. I was <laughs> thinking. Not Batman's parents. <laughs> well, Batman's parents died. Exactly. And guess what? He used them for his money. So. Wait. There's a that there's that and hold also on. he definitely uses his kids. Yes. He killed <laughs> so on, many on. robins. Hold Where on. are all these robins coming from? Yeah, he's actually under under Batman's care. Only one robin has technically died. <laughs> technically is an issue. If you say technically, you're already in trouble. He, he came back to don't worry. He came back to life. There's no. <laughs> he used his robins. Oh my god. How did we get here? <laughs> Anyways, you wanted the premise of like the tutorials on how to be Superman. Yeah, so, like, what's the that? Ice he, was, he was raised by his, you know, his farmer parents. Mm-hmm. Taught that, you know. Well, really, his father was teaching him not to use his powers until he was, you know, old enough, mature enough. Mm-hmm. 
and then Superman became, you know, one of the greatest heroes in his world. In his, yeah, I agree with that statement. Very <laughs> smart way to phrase that. <laughs> it's saving the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just, I just gotta say, he is horrible at hiding his identity, though. Like, somehow, people figure out who Batman is faster than they do Superman. Mm-hmm. But all Superman does is put on glasses while Batman has a whole getup on. <laughs> okay, but like... Some... But he's rich, so he could just pay them off to shut up. So. He does, like, yeah, Bruce gets a lot of publicity, <laughs> to be fair. Yeah, he's just some guy. Clark Kent is just a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who works at a news center. In a cubicle, He's though. just a guy. <laughs> He's just a guy. <laughs> if people are doing stories about Superman all the time, mm-hmm. just look over at the cubicle but next. If, but if, yeah, they'll just sound, like, ridiculous. It's just like, <laughs> I think my co-worker is <laughs> Superman. You just, and then you're just like, what the fuck? Rent just, from accounting? <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> no, one time you just have to go over, take a pen or something, just see if it affects them a little bit. If they do, you just keep walking. <laughs> so, so okay. Stab your coat. <laughs> no, not hard. <laughs> just a light little poke. I'm just imagining. This. Okay, so just like a bunch of people, they're in their cubicles, they're working on newspapers, and then someone just like <laughs> throws something over the cubicle wall. <laughs> you know what? I'll just say this. I feel like anyone would react to I'm that. I'm just saying, next time. There's an emergency situation that happens. I'm watching him <laughs> to see where he goes. Oh my god. But back to the main point of this whole thing. <laughs> Basically, I'm not saying that you have to be specifically skeptical and nihilist mm-hmm. when thinking of something and or being very optimistic and blinded by both of those. I'm saying that you need at least a small percentage of hope and, you know, whatever, optimism. And some skepticism, whatever that is. Skepticism. Yeah, that one. (laughs) And then (laughs) nihilism. Because if you're too optimistic, you get taken advantage of. If you're not, then you have no friends. Mm. So you gotta find a balance, really. I mean... I have that balance. I mean, there's like... I don't think you do. <laughs> I have a balance, okay? I have hope. You don't just want to want to kill the future. You want to, like, torture it first. <laughs> future doesn't exist. There's nothing to torture. It's already dead, so that's why I'm saying you don't have a balance. <laughs> okay, so I did ask a couple other people if what they did would I do just in Mary this... Poppins? Did you see Mary Poppins? I said Mary Pres. This is Mary Pres. <laughs> oh. No, like Mary Poppins would be like the future. I feel no, like she would be a future. She's present for she sure. She shows up for for every generation She's... when needed. I can see. I can see the future. I see no. more of an argument for future. You want to argue this while she searches <laughs> answers? Yes. Listen, Mary Poppins <laughs> is the present. How is she the present? She, she appears out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Comes in, teaches you the life lesson you need Mm -hmm. to apply in the present Mm -hmm. to have a better future. Yeah. So it does affect it, but But it's the living. Like, how do you get a better future from a nanny? (laughs) If you think about that. It's like any life lesson type deal. I suppose, but it's like, she's teaching you how to take medicine and clean your room. How is that supposed to fix your whole future? We're not talking about, like, Super Nannies, the TV show. We're talking about Mary Poppins, a magical broom lady. But you have to... Okay, think about the new Mary Poppins, where she shows up for the next generation of kids that she already, you know, did her nanny business with, right? That means her lesson just wasn't working. It means it's the future, because she's teaching the next generation of children from that line. See, but that's the thing. That's just because that's from the same bloodline. <laughs> if it was just but another ra- set of random kids. Okay, okay, let's go to Nanny McPhee. I don't know if you remember that show or movie, but that was I'm my so favorite. I'm so lost movie. right now. <laughs> nanny McPhee was an old hagged nurse or nanny thing, right? She goes to these nanny random thing. homes 
in like the weirdest of places, goes in there. You know, people make fun of her for being fat and ugly. Mm-hmm. She, she teaches them their lesson. Not as sweet as Mary Poppins. Like, she is the like, full on, like, ghetto version of Mary Poppins, okay? And then, you know, eventually, every time a kid learns something, she gets slightly better looking. <laughs> and then by the Isn't end. Isn't that Mary Poppins no, also? No, it's completely different. It, because it, she, hold up. Her no. <laughs> She looks completely Guys. flawless by the end of the movie. I swear to God, the same thing happens to Mary Poppins. No, she's beautiful from Hold the up. start. I think I'm... Nana McPhee's an old We gotta, we gotta no, pause of Nana McPhee. Oh, 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 I think I actually do remember the movie. Yes! Nana she had like McPhee. a giant wart on her face and everything. Yes, right here. Yes, and then she gets beautiful at the end. And the, uh, the, the main point of the movie is if people listen to you, you get better looking. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, in the middle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. Were we talking about how Mary Poppins is the future? <laughs> I was saying that it's the future. <laughs> okay, so as I said, I was I did bring this up with other people just to see any different perspectives in case we all landed on the same opinion, which clearly we did not. <laughs> um, one of my friends said. Um, Kiss the future, marry the present. Oh, wait, sorry. One of my friends said, kiss the past, marry the future, and kill the present. I, I can understand that. Fuck the present. <laughs> the present sucks. <laughs> All the feelings you feel right oh. now are that is That is the opinion that basically she said. Just like, I hate right now. Mm-hmm. I'd rather just like jump ahead into, into the future. And then, I guess, I don't know what, what it is about the past for this one. Um, but I assume it's also, like, part of that nostalgia thing. You know, just, like, have a little taste. Yeah. See, but for, the future is kind of like the older sibling of the present. Mm. Literally, because the present's going to grow up to be the future. True. <laughs> so even if you get rid of the past, right? Mm. You're just getting the older version of it, <laughs> of the present. Mm. If nothing changes. Alright, yeah. Another one said that uh, someone else also said kiss kiss the present. No, kiss the past. Um, and then I think they said marry the present and then kill the future. Yes. So another one for team kill the future. <laughs> no futures, y'all. <laughs> team no future. But basically, their argument is, like, just living in the moment. Um, I'm not really sure why also Kiss the Path. I assume also the nostalgia thing. But, you know, yeah. And then Killing the Future because uh, just living in the present is enough was his thing. Yep. Good Mm. enough? Good enough? Valid, valid? Okay. Another one said Kill the Past, Marry the Present, Kiss the Future, which was our thing. Yes. Another it's one. Wrong. We win. <laughs> um, so yeah, just like they have like a good okay, feeling on. for the past. Question. Yeah. Marty McFly. This if Marty McFly was the future. Hmm. Change your mind. He's Maybe. the president. He's Mar- definitely the president. N- not with how many versions there are of him. He's definitely the president. He represents all three. He doesn't represent all three, I think. <laughs> I think he represents the past and the present, not the future. For us, he would be the past. He also travels to the future, you know. Does all the things in there. Mm. Knows his future, which kind of sucks. Because if you change anything, you don't... You would become so paranoid. <laughs> I would call it the not yet present, but okay. <laughs> oh, so we're just making up stuff. <laughs> Look, um, I feel like everyone's opinions are valid. Just some of them are wrong. And you guys are wrong, so. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So, basically the same thing that we said. Um, but also just like a strong argument that the future is kind of hot. I can see that. <laughs> Okay. Silent, silent agreement. <laughs> yes. The future is hot. 
the idea of the future. And then song. for characters, I only asked one person this. Um, they said Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren for past. I am not. I'm not well versed in the sequel trilogy. I can see that. Definitely, I can see that. You do You disagree? Yoda. Yoda for past. Mm. Yeah. I can see that too. Both of them make sense to me, because Kylo Ren's kind of like. He was raised to be thinking in the past, you know? So, of course he's going to act on keeping things in that era of yeah. the past. So, I can see how it, he could be the past, but he could also be the future where his morals are changed and so he starts fighting for a different cause. Yeah. Yoda also makes sense because he's old. <laughs> And also he... He's lived through some generations. Yeah. Basically, okay. for both of them, the idea is that it's about some kind of preservation yeah, of, the of, past. of the past. Whatever good, bad system it is. Mm-hmm. Um, if you even think that the Jedi are good. Oh, you want to make that? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then she said... Have you guys watched Tron Legacy? What? Tron no. Legacy? I don't. Let me let me do some research. They had the LED the bikes uh, from Disney uh, Channel. Uh, <laughs> wait, I've, I've I think seen the, the characters. I haven't. Watched I think it. I think I did watch it. Wait, Tron. They had the three disc. Tron. Legacy. Yes, they had the they had the disc. Yes, I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember where I watched it when I watched it. I remember. Okay. I didn't watch it, so I can't what, comment what is on that? this. Future or present? So this was for future, uh, but it's mm. Cora from that. So the girl, who's like kind of never left the game. I f- I forget. Yes, yes, yes. I remember. I remember Living her face. Living in a game world. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I understand that exactly. Like the first off, the features of the film are very futuristic. But also, she basically only wanted to stay. But you could also argue that she was the past because her present was technically the future for the guy. So basically, his future is her past. So she was trying to stay within what she knew, which Mm. was the present, which was his. It's very confusing. So it could be all three for that movie. Because depending on who you're looking at, their future is completely different from the other person's future. It's true. Everyone's future is going to be, like, different. That's why I'm kind of, like, it's it kind of interesting to see whether they kiss, marry, or kill specifically the future. Because mm-hmm. it's just whatever opinion that they have yeah. on what their future looks like. So I guess for Cora, her future was hoping to leave the game, go go outside, see the sun, everything. She wanted to stay. No, she even wanted to know what the sun was like, right? And everything. The guy convinced her that she did. I just watched this movie. I don't remember anything. <laughs> At least that's my opinion. And then we also said, because I kind of brought it up, uh, have we all watched everything everywhere all at once? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so Joe Butipaki for future. Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Very much so. That's my that's your nihilist future if you want. It. Yes. She was See, when I think about like the nihilist type of ideal for future and present, cuz we don't really think about the past, but anyway, so future and present would probably be, you know, you guys watched the Mario movie, right? Mm, I haven't. Oh. It's well. okay. If you haven't, I will not spoil it per se, but there is this one character who basically has that sort of mindset, which is the blue fire thing in the cage. Don't ask what I'm talking about until you watch the movie. Spoiler warning. I mean, he has no effect on the movie at all. It's just his commentary that is very understandable for me. A side side character. A very side character. Bottom of the casting list. Like, there's background character, side character, he's like right here. 
fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so minor, minor spoilers. Very minor. Not even a spoiler. You won't even know what the movie is if I mention that. So. Facts. I'm speaking from from that perspective. <laughs> I've not watched the part. Yeah. It, it has no effect on the movie. So, his ideal is very much mine. For he, the future? Yeah. Okay. Um... Spoiler ish. He was captured in a cage. Um, and he was just saying the truth. What does it matter? We're all gonna die anyways. So (laughs) So anyway, (laughs) Chobu Tapaki. Yeah. Yeah, that that's kinda like nihilist read on the future that nothing matters. So everything do what you want. Exactly. So, yeah, absurd. What is it? Absurdist nihilism, basically. I love those ideals. I would marry them if I could. Jobu? No, oh. the, those ideals. Those ideals. <laughs> specifically, I would marry them. You well, would get everything up front because who cares? Well, that is a future episode in the making. Ooh. What? What is? <laughs> nihilism? Nihilist. Well, just for you folks, uh,. Gonna come with a future <laughs> episode title: Optimism, Realism, and Pessimism. So, do you want that to be the next episode for real? Yes, immediately. Vote in the comments if you want. <laughs> oh, yes, right. I guess we need their opinion. I had. Oh, what else did I have? So we have the first one you already heard. Uh, so vote between optimism, pessimism, realism. That would be one. I had another one that was... Body, mind, spirit. Body, mind, spirit. That would be number two. And the other one was everything, nothing, and something. That will be three. Those numbers, just comment one of those numbers in the, one, <laughs> and we'll two, look. One, two, three. Okay. So, yeah. Um, that was our discussion on past, present, and future. If you enjoyed that please subscribe i have a lot more other videos coming in the future Mm. (laughs) we're just in the soon to be present (laughs) don't worry about the two sides of the coin sitting on either side right now and yeah so thank you for watching or listening and i'll see you next time yeah don't Remember that bye. Patreon. Huh? We bye. don't have a Patreon. <laughs> Cancel me. That's it. Wait, what even is Patreon? Just a place it's, to it's, give money. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Patreon. <laughs> I don't have a Patreon. You should make one. <laughs> Not yet. She's I, gonna make a Patreon soon. Don't worry, guys. You can send this money. This is for that all way. 148 <laughs> subscribers I currently have. That exactly. Have 148. I have 148 I know one subscribers. Of you, I know one of you's got to be rich. <laughs> and that they're all on. waiting for Dimension 20 animatics that I will never make because I don't have a dropout subscription oh. anymore. <laughs> <laughs>